What's up guys, Antoine Webb here from Culture Matters. Joining me today is Carrie Hayes, Cross Country Mortgage. And today we're gonna to be talking about discount points and origination fees. Carrie, take us away. All right, so a lot of people ask what discount points are. Uh, good thing about discount points are they're your friend. <laughs> um, but they actually can be helpful depending on the situation. Um, sometimes let's say you have a rate of 5.5% and you're looking to get a rate of 5%. If you don't qualify for that rate, you have the capability to buy that rate down. When you buy that rate down, you buy it down by discount points. So normally what a point is, a point normally equates to 1% of the loan value. So let's say it costs you one point to buy down a $200,000 mortgage. That would be $2,000 to buy it down one point. Now one point doesn't mean that you buy it down a by 1%, you buy it down by what you actually qualify for. And that gets a little bit more involved into talking about rates, uh, which would be for a different video, I would say. Absolutely. Uh, because talking, getting about, talking about rates and what they actually involve, uh, then you would understand <clears throat> where the discount point system is, uh, is uh, derived from. Okay. All right? Um, now, what are some, uh, you know, what, what would people normally expect to pay as far as discount points go? Does it vary or is it kind of straightforward? It really does vary what, they, what they're looking for and also what rate's going to help them for their situation. Sometimes you can actually not even have discount points. Um, most of the times there are no discount points. It's what you qualify for. Okay. So let's say we, get, we have the appraisal. We have all the factors that go into what make up your rate. And let's say the rate gives you a payment which that's not qualified. Like say the payments are, say your rate is 5.25% and that brings you above, um, that brings you above a, a, a higher debt to income ratio than you would qualify for. Okay. So because you're higher than that, you need to get a lower rate if that's what it takes to get the loan qualified. Understood. To do that, you can then say, you know what, how much would it be for me to buy my rate to this? We okay. would go through our system, find the rate, calculate the points and say, this is what, this is what it would cost you to get this rate. So it's like getting yourself in the right bracket. Correct, for you, but at the same time, you qualify for what you qualify for. Okay. Remember that. So, yes, there are some places where you'll see rates are lower. Read the fine print, and in the fine print, a lot of them will say to get this rate, you're be required to pay a discount point. So you gotta make sure, one, read the fine print, especially because discount points sometimes are added in those lower rates. There's extra terms that you will not, um, terms and conditions that require you to get that specific rate. So when you are getting your rate, just do remember, majority of the banks are giving you the rate that you qualify for. Um, if they're not, you know, at the end of the day, what, what's hidden in the dark will come to light. Absolutely, yeah. always, does. always does. Always does. So now let's talk a little bit about origination fees. What are these exactly? Origination fees are what it costs to do the loan. That's basically, at, at the end of the day, to make it as simple and to not really go deep, too deep into what involves origination costs, it, it is the cost of what it takes to do the loan application fees. Okay, now does this, does this vary? From um, bank to bank. Bank to bank. Bank to bank, it varies. Some banks will have no origination fees. Okay. Some banks will have high origination fees. But I will tell you, most of the time, it will not go above 4%. At that point in time when it does, that's actually starting to be considered predatory lending, okay. and that's actually illegal. So, okay. um, just expect, 4% is really on the high end, but at the end of the day, that's each, to each its own. To each bank its own, uh, you know, we'll never talk, talk you know, in a, in a bad way about what banks do and how they handle their business, but at the end of the day, if you have a bank that uses 4% origination rate, find out what you're getting. You know, if you have a bank that uses no origination rate, find out what they're offering. You know, at the end of the day, um, it says a lot about certain banks and what their origination fees actually go towards. And totally. you can ask that question. So it comes down to you doing your due diligence as the consumer and making sure right. that you're dealing with the right people who have your best interests in mind. Exactly. Now, Carrie, where can we find you? Find me at Cross Country Mortgage in Homedale, New Jersey. Awesome. Anything online? Can we search on um, You can search me on Facebook. It's Kerry Hayes. You can also search me on LinkedIn. It's also at Kerry Hayes as well. Guys, culture matters. Mortgage culture matters. We'll catch you on the next one. See you soon.